more power, better sound, and a better departure angle. The RTR catback exhaust for the 2021 Plus Bronco has it all. Check it out. Here we have the RTR high clearance catback exhaust fitting your 2021 Plus two-door or four-door Bronco. This catback exhaust won't fit Raptors, but it will fit everything else. If you're looking for an increase in flow and sound, this is the way to go. It features everything you need for installation. It's a complete catback replacement. Unlike many of the other exhaust systems on the market, many of them are axle backs because virtually it is kind of a full catback all the way back since there isn't a resonator in the middle or anything like that. But RTR went the extra mile to ensure that you got maximum flow out of adding an exhaust to your Bronco. The material is T304 stainless steel, so you know it will last the test of time. And in terms of mounting, the actual exit is relocated to where the exhaust normally comes out behind the axle. What this means is you pretty much get rid of any departure angle issues that you would have with a factory exhaust or many of the other aftermarket kits because you not only get the increased flow, the increased sound, but the better ground clearance and departure angle. And for 2.7 liter Broncos, you can expect a 40% increase in exhaust flow. And for 2.3 liter Broncos, 100% increase in exhaust flow, thanks to the larger diameter on this catback. And in terms of horsepower and torque increases, the claim numbers from RTR are 19 horsepower and nine foot pounds of torque for 2.7 liter Broncos, or 12 horsepower and 12 foot-pounds of torque on 2.3 liter Broncos. As you know, we have a 2.3 liter Bronco here in house that we'll be installing this kit on. So naturally, we'll throw it on the rollers, see what kind of horsepower numbers we can get. Everything you need for an easy installation is included with this kit from RTR. So let's get that install rolling. Here are the tools required for installation. First, get under your Bronco and spray down all the rubber isolators with some soapy water. Then we'll use a 15 millimeter deep socket to loosen this clamp. And now we can pry the muffler off of the two hangers. Once it's loose, you can twist it to remove it from the vehicle. Moving up to the next isolator, we can pry that off as well. The last hanger is by the flex pipe and we'll unbolt this as it needs to be transferred. Get that 15 millimeter socket out to disconnect the mid pipe. Make sure the gasket stays in place. And now you should be able to remove the entire mid pipe. Be careful around the axle not to hit any hard lines. Then we'll remove the isolator and transfer it to the smallest pipe or the A pipe in the kit. We'll reuse the gasket so make sure it's still installed and then we'll put the A pipe up into place. Then get the two nuts and the two bolts, thread them into place. Make sure everything is properly aligned before fully tightening it down. Grab an exhaust clamp and the muffler and we'll get those into place as well. Make sure the clamps are aimed downward so they're easy to tighten. Then grab another clamp and the B pipe or the longest in the kit and put it up into place. If you're installing on a two door Bronco, measure 15 and a three quarter inch and cut approximately as shown here. Once the B pipe is in place and connected to the muffler, get the other side onto the hanger. Now that the exhaust is properly held up, we can begin to tighten the clamps. Then grab another exhaust clamp and the C pipe that goes up over the axle. The flanged end will point towards the front of the vehicle. Make sure it doesn't fall out of the hanger. Then tighten that clamp and twist the C pipe so it's oriented as shown and clear of any suspension movement. And now grab your last exhaust clamp and the exhaust tip and put those into place. Make sure the D pipe is properly seated and then you can tighten that last clamp down. And then when you're happy with the placement of the entire system, you can tighten all four clamps. You do have the option of removing this hanger behind the rear bumper, but you have to remove the entire bumper to get access to these bolts. We just opted to remove the rubber isolator. And after that, your installation's complete. Time for some sound clips.
We just finished on the rollers with this 2.3 liter Bronco after installing the RTR catback exhaust. Needless to say, that extra flow made a huge difference. Believe it or not, 17 horsepower. We started out fifth gear pull, 93 octane in the tank, 237 horsepower. Weren't able to get a solid reading on the RPM, so we're just talking about horsepower today, but 237 to 254. Pretty impressive to say the least. You not only get the sound, but you also get the function with the increased departure angle and of course, the increased power to the wheels. Let us know if you wanna see any other videos on the Bronco. You can hit us up right here at Cita.com for all of your RTR and Bronco part needs. Hit that like, subscribe, the notification bell, and don't forget the most important thing, speed matters.